Well, pretty soon, friends. Uh, it won't be long, probably another week or two. Uh, this area will be a seething hotbed. This area, this area you are viewing right now will be a seething hotbed of, uh, of pleasure, actually, for uh, the various wild birds in the area uh, that live along the Muskinacong and up in the trees above. Uh, what we'll be doing, Sandy and I, we talked it over and we're going to do it again this year. What we do is we go down to Walmart and we get ourselves uh, bags of wild bird seed and we start throwing it over the edge of this uh, railing here on our back porch. And uh, the area all around here that I'm showing you now will soon be, uh, well, will soon be littered with bird seed, squirrels, almost any bird you can name. Uh, will be uh, down there chomping away. They'll be waiting for us in the morning. As the sun comes up, they'll be on the various branches looking to see what... <laughs> they'll be pacing back and forth on their respective limbs, hoping we get out as soon as possible. And uh, usually we throw, a, oh, about a, a pound or so of bird seed, which is quite a lot of bird seed, uh, and sunflower seeds, uh, onto this area. And even when it snows, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, risk life and limb and come down off the hill here and stomp down on the snow. And uh, just, um, uh, yeah, and then we throw bird seed on top of the uh, frozen snow. It's, uh, it's quite a treat for the birds. We've been doing this now for over a decade and love doing it. And uh, the birds dig it, keeps them fed. It's mostly the winter birds, of course, the other the smarter birds are down in, uh, you know, Key Largo, I suppose. <laughs> and the others, uh, well, the winter birds uh, mosey into our yard. And we, you'd be surprised how many show up. It should be fun. It's something we like to do. It really doesn't cost much to feed them. They kind of dig it. So, anyway, I'll see you later. God bless.